Okay, okay. So we have to kill these guys very efficiently here. Go and get back into a corner. Hello friends and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We're on Season 4. We just found a shotgun Messiah. This kind of cleared the outside out. Side out? Outside out? Outside out? Outside? Cleared it out. Cleared out the outside. Which is, you know, a good thing to do with the outside. You want to clear it. But I still still think we need to clear the clear out the inside. I think I heard some more zombies. Safety first. Always plug your holes. Let's go find... There's not very many... Very few. Uh, you're supposed to open that for me. There's like very few um, crates out here. Normally, there's more crates. Always check these. I, I have a habit of breaking them because like, you're so used to breaking them open, but sometimes they're are already open. So always, always double check before you start uh, pulling away with your with your axe. And it's caught me a few times. Looking for a good gun, uh, maybe more ammo, gunpowder. A shotgun would be really nice. Shotgun barrel, shotgun pump. Okay, if you find a shotgun uh, receiver in here, oh wow, um, then we'll be in good shape. Paper. Sorry about that. We are doing a nomad existence, so we only have space for what we have on us. So it's, it's been a very interesting <coughs> lesson in uh, survival on the road. I think it'll get me ready to have my uh, shopping cart in Alpha 11. So we need. There's not going to be anything in there. There's not, not going to be anything that we need in here. <clears throat> Pardon me. My throat's a little hinky. Uh, I don't need that. I suppose, I suppose we could have one more of those. I uh, really don't need the great alcohols, so. Alright, we're in good shape when all that other stuff goes. Alright, let's, uh,. Let's break through this thing. Get the proper tool for the proper job. It's annoying this one because it, you have to switch back and forth between you know, for the most effective pattern. I mean, you, you can obviously go through it with either of the weapons, but uh, certain kinds of objects uh, you get a damage multiplier for using the right tool. So you might as well do it so we can get through things mucho faster. In case you guys are interested, 275 zombie kills, no deaths. Uh, we are playing on easier settings, kind of default settings, uh, since we are doing a nomad existence with no base or anything. So and I want to be more exploratory than um, you know, really trying to survive, I guess. So I kind of amp things down, longer days, just so you can kind of amble around and... Ah, come on. Amble along and just discover and, you know, check out the unique prefabs that people have created. I'm using a pack that was put together by uh, a username Echo on the 7 Days Dive forums. Um, he's kind of, he kind of maintains it. There's also uh, the same prefab pack available for Red and Jed. Shotgun receiver, okay. So there's all the parts. So let me put this for right now. Do that. I'll run back up to that front box, put the shotgun together, and uh, decide what to leave behind. <laughs> but I kind of do want a shotgun, so. Reloading weekly and hunting knife. Uh, let's, let's 
check them both. I think I've got them. Oh, oh, perfect! I didn't didn't realize I had, didn't know how to make the shotgun shells already. So that was very handy, considering them, you know, about to want to make. Uh, let's let's drink this blood. Mmm, tasty blood. A vampire. All right, so let's go up here. pump and this okay go in here shotgun shotgun barrel stock receiver and pump there we go probably gonna get rid of the honey rifle because uh, I don't have any ammo for it and uh, well, I'll do it this way. It's only worth. Ah, I'll just throw it away. I don't even want it. Okay, let's go back and pick up. I can't remember what I left back here, but I left something back here that was important. And this one? Yes, left my glass jars. Don't want to leave my glass jars. Very important. Alright, so now we need to be on the lookout for shotgun shells. I saw some earlier. I can't remember where I saw them. Oh, I do remember. Um, I think they were back up here. There was a car. Okay, let's uh, let's eat some blueberries. Let's just throw you away. Right, once we get up here, I'll show you guys. Give you guys an update on where we've been, what we're doing, and how we're doing it. Is it up here? No. This guy? Ah, yes. Uh, okay, so what are we going to throw away in favor? Uh, let's get rid of these. Alright, let's leave that there for right now. What we'll do is take axe, fix it up. Is our pick? Yeah, this needs two. Fix it up. Shovel is full. Iron club uh, down by <laughs> down by almost nothing, but we might as well use them all up there. And while we're doing it, let's go ahead and fix up our crossbow. It's down. It's down. You know, hundred. It's down eighty. So we need. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Take your shotgun shells. Thank you very much. And uh, because you always want to make sure that you're going to reload new weapons. All right. Um, all right. Well, that was a you know not really good, not a great check on Messiah, but it was not too shabby either. Um, what I want to do really quickly is eat until we're full, and then we'll refresh our blueberries. You can't, uh, when you're picking blueberries up, you have to have them in your backpack. Uh, they will not add to your belt right now. That is a, a known buggy bug. All right, so those are full. Put frames down, frames are always handy. So we can grab a couple. Okay, blueberries should be, yeah, bullish. Oh, I guess we can't pick up two. All right. So uh, once again, kind of show you guys where we are on the map. Um, we started down here in the desert. Uh, first place was a junkyard with a big, cool pyramid out back. A uh, big movie theater and a regular hotel as part of the game. Old West Town, nothing new there. Came up here through the burned, town, burned area. We found uh, kind of an interesting broken down apartment building kind of thing, maybe over here. Big building of some sort. Uh, up here, we found a gas station with a really cool, uh, like, lodge. It's one of my favorite th things I've found so far in the game. Came up through here. We need to check this. We're going to be looping kind of a, a, in a spiral in as we go through this, this season. But uh, this is like a kind of a camp 
area with uh, cabins and things. A uh, house up here that's part of the regular game. Followed this road over here. Uh, this is a lodge that is part of the regular game. Uh, killed off a bunch of people here. Army camp is part of the regular game. Found a really interesting kind of... Oh, wait, this is uh, where I spent the night on night number two. And this was a uh, gas station. And then we found a really cool kind of... Like, maybe like a uh, government building or some sort of really cool office building kind of thing. It's really neat. And now Shaka Masai right there. So we have been exploring a lot of stuff in this season. It's a very different kind of existence. Being a nomad. If only I had my shopping cart. Or at least my motorbike. I hope the motorbike has like a, a few, uh, like maybe a, a, a small amount of storage capacity. I think that would be fair, you know? What? Okay, let's just drink you then. You wait, I'll kill you in a second. Just give me a second, I'll kill you. Alright, alright, now it's your turn to die. So anxious to die. So anxious. Oh, you see all this great loot and you can't pick any of it up. So, like I mentioned, we're going to be spiraling in. So a lot of these kind of center areas we'll discover later on. Because um, we got to spiral around the whole map a few times. It'll be a long journey, but oh, so worth it. I think that we'll be leaving the snow biome fairly soon. And I'll be happy to be out, because we've been in the snow for a long time, it seems. Much longer than we were in the desert. Is there another road over there, or what is that? Oh, nope, that's a uh, forest. All right, so we are at the edge. I don't think there's anything north of us, because right there is the... Uh, Oh, perfect. I see right there, up there is the edge and the radiation zone, so it should be clear. And now, ah, golden rods. Let's refresh our sack of golden rod. We're not going through a lot of it, but uh, it'd be nice to have, nice to have some more. And I really have enough feathers right now. Oh yeah, I'm at 250 just about so all right let's take a look here where are we, we got deers we got regular zombies is that a building let's go check this out what do we got over here got a camp this is a regular campsite nothing special about these but they are all fucking dogs You dog. Hey dog, guess what? Guess what I got? I got a present for you. The dogs in in here appear to be. Ah! Fuck you, dog. I appear to be kind of bound um, by the prefab they're in. So they don't go. Oh crap. <laughs> So they kind of guard, and they don't follow you. Yeah, that's what I thought, you freaking dog. So they don't follow you, which is uh, cool, different. Alright, so just a regular campsite. These are always great, though. If you're starting the game out, you want to find one of these. You know, sit bag, cock, uh, well, I guess we'll add another to our pile. of. These are great for cloth. Free food, anyone? Free food? Come on, exit out. Okay. Whew. Felt, felt, starting to feel a little trapped there for a second. What you got, nurse? What you got? What you got from nothing? Lurchy lurch. Alright. Oh, 
I'll take the one. I'm hoping to find some more um, shotgun shells now. Alright, let's uh, keep heading west. Get to find a place to spend the night. Or, actually, it's still way early, so I'm not worried about that. We're already in longer days. It's set to 60 minute days, and yet uh, it never really seems to actually be 60 minutes. It seems to always be way more than that. Um, I don't really know what the logic is. On the time settings. So we're still in the forest, the uh, pine forest. I know there are planes to our south. Or, sorry, planes to our west. And that's where there's a, a good collection of prefabs. It's almost a whole other another small town that's been built. So that'll, t that'll be really fun to explore. Oh, be quiet there, zombie. And actually, here we are. We are at the edge of the plains biome. All right, I'm going to take a quick peek at the map. We've got another camp over there. So we... Yeah, there's nothing really going to be north of us because it should, we should be really close to the burn biome. Or not burned, uh, radiation zone. All right, let's check out... Oh, this is a regular camp. So nothing... Oh, there we go. There's the first of our... Yeah, this zone is going to have a lot of interesting prefabs for us to explore. I'm just going to do a quick check up here on top just to be sure that I'm not missing anything amazingly awesome. But no, yeah, there's 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 the radiation zone there. So I have to kill a lot of zombies. There's a nice big building there. Can you guys not see me? Oh, they were chasing the deer, I think. You? Really? You guys are after me? You're after me? Oh, of course I, I knew I was going to... The minute I pulled the trigger, I knew I was going to miss this guy. You're done. And you're done. All right, let's go check this place out. I think we got enough time left in the episode to uh, loot this place fully. Hopefully, we'll have to go uh, going a little aggressively here. Got plenty of first aid. Oh, ish. Uh, yeah, let's put a couple more down here just to be on the safe side this is a nice big uh, yeah, mansion uh, hotel Ooh, another one over there and another one over there I knew this zone had a lot of really cool places in it so let's uh, let's check this out I'm getting a little bit of lag now obviously a lot of zombies and a lot of a lot of polygons. Right, let's look for. Uh, should we go in the back or should we go in the front? Let's uh, let's kill this guy first. Huge place, whatever it is. We got another building over there. Okay, little park benches here. Nice. Beef. It's what's for dinner. Okay. Beef, beef. You guys stack. You go there. Alright, so we got a building over there. We got a building there. And we have this place here. And you guys can see that little bit of lag that's going on. Oof, sounds like a lot of zombies out there. So there's, there's a, a thing in there. There's a 
door there. There's a water drain there. Garage. It's got both of those. Hey, honey. You want to cheer for me? I like the way they did the ramp here with the uh, stairway. That's nice. Alright, so yeah, we're going to need to go in there and uh, check it out. Right, let's kill... Let's kill this girl, too. Very serious lag. There's one problem with these prefabs. They're not optimized at all. So you get some really chunky behavior sometimes. What you can do, though, if you find it a lot in your game, you can just remove certain... Certain prefabs that cause you a lot of issues, you can just get them out of the game and then not worry about it. All right, so how should we go in here? Should we go in this door or here? Let's go into the garage. All right, let's uh, check it out. Okay, I'm gonna seal up the spot behind us. Because it's always safer to be sealed up. Um, more cooking pots, I guess. <laughs> now, the one complaint people have had about these uh, prefabs is that they get a little overly lootable. Like, look at this. I mean, there's a lot. You're going to end up with a lot of food out of some place like this. So, you know, there's, that's the one, I guess, drawback to these is if you're wanting to have a really hard existence. Wow, a lot of dog food in those. But I'm not going to worry about looting them. That'll, that'll solve that problem. Okay, okay. We have to kill these guys very efficiently here. Don't want to get back into a corner. I can use some more bandages. Thank you. Alright, that's uh close door behind us. And else down here? Are they up there? Oh yes, they are. Come on. Yeah, that's a good zombie. Oh, how many zombies are in this place? Oh, the lag, the lag! It doth kill. Uh, so many good things to loot. Alright, so we got five most of these unlocked. Uh, just check these out. Oh, I bet this is a pool table. I bet this is a pool table. That's awesome. It's a little big for a pool table, but uh, I get the idea. That's cool. I like it. Ah, oh, yeah, little tables are on the edge. That's really cool. Really, very. That's very unique. Good job, whoever made this one. Okay, and you're still upstairs. Ooh, uh, sauna. Oh, that's a really cool sauna, too. Yeah, that's really cool. Very cool, very, very cool. Alright, uh, we'll get over here. Just like a, yeah, it's a storage area. Okay. And a big kitchen with more. I like those as vents. That's cool. That's a good idea. 
Alright, let's uh, check. I just want a little bit of food. Or actually, a little bit of water would be good. I'm gonna go up and kill these zombies who are freaking me. Oh, there's a stair up right there. Oh, man. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, head upstairs here. Uh, whoa! I thought I saw a zombie. Oops, we got a little bit of a little bit of an issue right there with the way the roof um, clips to the stairway. So let's uh, get our pickaxe out. And I bet at one point these were ramps, and during the conversion process, if the ramp didn't get converted properly to a you know to back to another ramp. Then uh, it kind of broke, so don't fault the uh, you know the whoever created it yet because they probably had it working at one point. And then they got converted and converted and converted. So we got another kitchen. Ooh, we're gonna have so many cooking pots, dudes. So many. All right, we got out here. Oh. So I'm going with this as a as a uh, as a mansion. This has got to be one person's sweet ass mansion, I bet. And uh, the other no thing I've noticed in the game is that uh, yellow flower is supposed to be goldenrod, but at one point it got converted. And uh, so it doesn't, you can't actually pick it up and do anything with it. So you got to be careful when you're trying to loot from these prefabs. These are not actually goldenrod. They don't actually function like goldenrod. So it's a, it's a minor bug, but not, nothing, nothing unbearable. All right, let's head back inside here. We're going to have to call it an episode here very soon. Big dining room area. We'll see if we can finish the... Loot this place up. Nice swimming pool with a diving board. Nice. We gotta do it right. Cowabunga! Nice. Very nice. Ooh, I like the floor in here. That is really cool. Very unique. Oh, the ceiling's the same same thing. Very nice. Nice big fireplace. Ooh, I like that. That is really cool. Idea stolen. Trademark Rongo. All kinds of good. Oops, I'll grab those. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. What should we loot and dump? We'll dump the beer. We really don't need the beer. We've got coffee. We need to run. So, yeah, let's do that. Definitely use more shotgun ammo. And I thought that I saw, yeah, I see a safe over there. Let's see if we can find more. Ooh, what we're gonna do here. Watch me, watch me, watch me be cool. Break these down. And, oh, I can only steal from one spot. What we're gonna do is make ourselves some more ammo. This is definitely the game of inventory management. All right, let's get this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop the episode here. We'll come back and we'll finish looting this house up, and then we'll go to one of the next door ones. This is going to be a lot. We're going to spend a lot of time in this area, I'm thinking. It's going to make a lot of... You can see a lot of prefabs already. Forge head pistol reloading weekly. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a little bit of inventory, and then we'll come back, and uh, we'll see what we got from there. All right, friends. If you liked it, click that like button, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, your family, and your grandma, and I'll kill those zombies later. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.